Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Your time is 9-11. Now business is booming for Fixer Upper's favorite craftsman, Clint Harper. A Clint Harp, that is, and his company uses reclaimed lumber to build new furniture out of old wood for clients. Take a look. So I need a 17-foot <laughs> table. Let's play a little game here. Yep. Okay. So, oh, 17. This table is going to be the longest table I think Clint's ever made. Okay, it's super long. I'm thinking pedestal, double pedestals, but then you have the one in the middle, right? And then you have one at the end. This okay. is going to be so freakishly huge. Okay. Yeah, this tree that I'm sculpting. Hey, and he's able to make it come to life. Clint joins me now to talk about life, his work, his new show, and also his new book as well. So, Clint, it's so good to have you here on Good Day. Thank you. Thanks yeah, for having me. Good morning and welcome. <clears throat> Got to start with this. You're from Dunwoody. Yes. So cool. Yes, it so is. Cool. I, I'm back in my hometown. I was born at Piedmont Hospital right down the road and, uh, and then, yeah, graduated from Dunwoody High School in 1996. Love that. Okay, I want to hear about this first job you had. Much different than what you're doing now. Right? Yeah, no, I was a bagger at Kroger. Yeah, <laughs> right there off of uh, Shambly Dunwoody and, and 285, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And I loved it. Christmas so was the cool. best time to bag groceries, by the way, because everybody was in like the greatest mood. Oh. And they just bought a ton of groceries. And Kept it was, you busy. Oh, it was fantastic. <laughs> yes, it was wonderful. Humble beginnings, very <clears throat> humble right. beginnings. So I think what a lot of people would want to know about you, many things, but, but obviously what is it like working with Chip and Joanna? Uh, it's uh, amazing, and uh, it's what you might think. Joanna's incredibly driven, so she knows what she wants, and Chip's uh, of, of, of wildfire, you know? I mean, it's, you, you go out with him, and, and you never know what you're going to get into. I mean, he's, he's so fun to hang around. And, uh, yeah, Joanna was great, and I, I loved getting a chance to work with her because, obviously, she's such an incredible uh, designer and knows what she wants and yet she would also give me the freedom to speak into the designs and uh, you know just kind of let me run with it every once in a while uh, with what I was building for her and that and that was uh, that was really fun to do. Yeah and like we saw in, in the clip that, that's on right now and I remember this episode it, sure. how do you handle these outrageous requests from her I mean you're talking about a table that's freakishly long not yeah. not everyone could, could yes. make that happen. It's I handle it just about like uh, everything else in my life which is kind of like the theme of, of my book is like I don't really know exactly <laughs> how to do it, but I'm just going to figure it out. So yeah. in that scene that you all just showed, literally, I'd never built a 17-foot-long table. I'd built a 16-foot-long in season two, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then she was like, let's make it a foot longer. And I was like, okay, sure. You know, <laughs> have you ever done that? <laughs> no. How do you do it? I'm not sure, but wow. you figure it out. And, yeah, uh, but it yeah. turns out great. Yeah, well, it, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, I have a great team around me. Uh, first season, I was building basically everything by myself, and then we grew our team, and, and uh, I had a lot of help as the years went on, and it was uh, really fun. It was a team effort. I mean, you talk about growing your team, and that's, that's kind of been the theme mm -hmm. for you when it, mm -hmm. comes to, when it comes to what you do right now. You, you didn't start out doing, doing woodworking. You actually had a totally different career. So how did you, what were you doing, and how did you go from that? to what you do now? I mean, the, the quick version is I, I've done just about everything. I mean, I was a director of a ministry. I was a janitor. I was a junior high youth minister. I was a, a missionary in Europe. I was a mortgage licensing, uh, uh, director of operations for a mortgage licensing firm. Um, I was a medical sales guy. Mm -hmm. And I tried all these different things. And none of them really answered that part of me that was like, do what you are meant to do. You know what I mean? And finally, I just decided I've got to jump out and go for a dream. And that dream was building furniture. Uh, and it sounded incredibly stupid at the time. And, uh, but I quit my job in May of 2011 uh, with the support of my wife. We decided to start our little company, Harp Design Co. And that's what we did. And we went for it. We had no idea we were moving to Waco. Um, but we ended up moving to Waco, and yeah, the rest is kind of history. Wow, and your beautiful family featured right there. Thank you as oh, well. I love so I mean, it, it's it's all worked out for you. <laughs> Things have worked out, yeah. but, but I mean, it's also been a bumpy road. There's you know, because going for your dreams it doesn't always end up on TV. It doesn't always end up with a book and all right. this fun stuff. You know, in the middle, there's 
all kinds of disappointments and all kinds of things that go wrong and that you have to adjust to and, and you keep know, on. Yeah, keep but on, you just you on. keep on keeping on. Exactly. Yeah, I want to talk about your book. Yeah, thank really you. Really quickly. Thank yeah, you. yeah, tell us tell us what's inside. What will what we'll find. Well, so handcrafted. I wrote it first of all as an opportunity that I've been wanting for so long, and I've always wanted to write a book. Um, and the opportunity came along, and I grabbed it and ran with it because there's. This story, um, obviously, that a lot of people know about that follow me, where I meet Chip Gaines at a gas station, and the next thing you know, I'm filming for Fixer Upper, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's this amazing moment. It's like crazy, this serendipitous, like crazy moment. But the thing about it is, that's really not the whole story. That story never happens where I meet Chip at a gas station if it weren't for this incredible journey before that, my whole life. Leading where, up to it. That's right, yeah. where there were great disappointments and struggle and things that didn't go right at all and failures on my own end. Um, and it all led me to where I am today. And that moment is leading to other moments in the future that I don't even know about. And so um, it was an opportunity to try and write something to encourage people, listen, whatever you're going through right now, there's a purpose behind it, I promise. And again, doesn't necessarily always end up on TV or with a book, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it's going to lead you to where you need to be. And uh, it was really fun to write, and uh, um, people have been so kind and, and are reading it, yes. and I'm, I'm really thankful I got to do it. Mm, what a message, and you see there uh, his new show, Woodwork, on DIY Network as well. Clint, thank you so much for coming in and visiting thank with us Thank you so today. much for having yeah, me. Yes, it was a blast. Definitely appreciate this. And Dana Fowles already claimed uh, this copy of the book right here, so I told him I'd, I'd get it signed for. Dana, I hope <laughs> you're watching. Our thanks to Simon & Schuster for help coordinating today's interview with Clint. Handcrafted, a woodworker's story is on sale now. Time is 9.18.